Hawking radiation explained. By now you might have heard of something called Hawking radiation, which is basically a type of radiation emitted by black holes. But what exactly is Hawking radiation? How can something escape a black hole when we are all taught about how not even light can escape a black hole? To begin, we first have to understand what exactly is a black hole. Basically, a black hole is a collection of matter or antimatter that has been condensed so much that its gravitational pull is so strong so that nothing can escape it. There are also a few parts of a black hole. This is the singularity. It is what we typically think of when we think of the black hole. It is the part of the black hole that actually holds all of the matter. Around the singularity is a ring called the event horizon. This is how far out the gravitational pull of the black hole extends so that nothing can escape it past this point. When you look at a picture of a black hole, you are actually just looking at the event horizon as no light can escape it to reach your eye past this point. So we figured out what a black hole is, but we still don't quite know what Hawking radiation is. Common sense tells us that it can exist because we know nothing can escape a black hole. This would be true if it weren't for the second law of thermodynamics and entropy. The second law of thermodynamics states that in a closed system, chaos and disorder, or entropy, can only go up. For example, if we have an ordered system like this and randomly mess it up, it will become more disordered. How does this apply to a black hole then? Let's assume we have an empty universe with just a black hole in it. All the matter in this universe is concentrated in this black hole and is very ordered. The entropy in this universe is very low. Because of the law of entropy though, we know that the universe must end up in a state more like this, where the matter is spread out evenly. So how does the universe get to this state? The answer is Hawking radiation. Entropy forces black holes to emit matter. This happens through Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, which is not actually E equals mc squared, but that's a story for another time. Anyways, let's just assume E equals mc squared for simplicity's sake. As you may know, black holes are full of energy, and because of E equals mc squared, we know that energy equates to matter. As you may know, black holes are full of energy, so black holes emit matter because there is a lot of energy. Well, it's not that simple. When energy is converted into matter, it always comes in pairs of matter and antimatter particles. For example, an electron and a positron. Normally, when two particles are created, they instantly annihilate back into energy. This means that normally particles can't escape the black hole. But going back to our diagram of the black hole, if these two particles are created right on the event horizon, one of them will be pulled black into the black hole before it can annihilate into the other. This leaves the other particle free to leave the black hole. This is what Hawking radiation is and how it is created.